I'd love to turn you on. Hello, and welcome to another exciting edition of the Brain Little Trivia Podcast. I am your MC David. With me today, we have Kells. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> We have Andy. Hello, ladle brainers. We have Twy. It's a me. And we have the Sensei Neil. Have I got a treat for you today? Ooh. Not really. It's just a Is quiz. it gravy? No. <laughs> oh. Just a quiz. Dang. Corn butter. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we're going to play a game of trivia. Uh, the way it works is each week we have a theme, and within that theme, we've got six categories of four questions each. Each question is worth 10 points, uh, with possibly a few bonus points thrown in here and there, and then a final, which is worth up to 100 points. And today's theme was given to us by one of our pals, Arthur. Arthur. Hey, Arthur. Does anybody want to guess what the theme is? Probably it's movie a movie related. theme. <laughs> Close. It is motion pictures. Oh, oh! oh. I understand hmm. they got talkies now. Mm-hmm. They ruin them. So it's it's largely it, it's a lot less about individual movies and more mm-hmm. about the um, the world of movies. The the shall we say science and history of movies. Oh, hmm. okay. And category one is, in fact, science. Hmm. Question one. What is the art or science of creating moving pictures called? There's an easy mode if you need it for half points. I'll take easy mode. I'll take Um, easy mode. I have an idea. Easy mode, please. Okay. Kels is locked in. Everybody else wants the easy mode. Easy mode is, it's also a category at the Oscars. Dang it. Locked in. Locked in? Uh, Is that a sigh of relief, Kels? Yes. (laughs) (laughs) All right, Kels? Cinematography. Debo? Cinematography. Andy? Cinematography. And Twy? Cinematography. That is correct. Question two. Successive photography of actual movement was achieved in 1877 when Edward Moybridge set up 12 equally spaced cameras to photograph what? And for a five point bonus, why did he take those pictures? Locked in and locked in on the bonus. Um, Shoot. I think it was this. No idea on the bonus. I'm locked in. Um, I'm locked in. Locked in. Okay. Let's start with Devo. I think it was a horse. And I have no idea why he even did it. Andy? It was a horse, and they were trying to prove the the horse's foot placement. They were they were trying to prove that Oh the gate. The, the yeah, that the yeah. horse had one one hoof on the ground at all times. Some people suspected there was a moment in the gallop where the horse had every foot off the ground. Twy. I hope I'm explaining that right. Yeah. A dog, and I didn't know why. A dog. <laughs> I said uh, a running horse, and to see if there was a point where none of its uh, hooves were on the ground. The correct answer is a horse, and they took it to settle a bet that all four hooves are off the ground during a gallop. Are they? I believe they are oh, at right. some point. Not at all times, because then the right. horse would just that fall then it would be a flying horse. <laughs> that would be cool. <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah, why didn't the Wonder Twins ever think to do that? Well, one of them could form a yeah. flying horse, <laughs> but the other one would then be shape of water, water. shape <laughs> of <laughs> frozen <laughs> salads or uh, frozen, frozen salad. saddle, frozen saddle. I meant to say <laughs> frozen salad. Hungry. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Question three. Initially, there were different techniques used to hear the films. Some used records that would record the audio and then be played on a record player while the projector ran the film. That proved to be too unreliable. And eventually, the standard would be to shine a light through a thin strip of waveforms printed on the side of the film itself. 
What is that thin strip of film called? <laughs> I have a, a notion. I'm locking in. <laughs> no idea. Locked in. I feel yeah, like I'm, they're trying to get you. Um, I'm locked in. I'm locked in. Okay. Andy? I believe that's the audio track. Prove me wrong. Twy? Microfish? <laughs> 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 Kels? Celluloid. Devo? I said soundtrack. The <sighs> correct answer is soundtrack, but I'll, Damn it. I'll give you audio track. Mm. Oh, I was a joke answer, honestly. I guess I was too on the nose. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what it is. That's what that, yeah. I mean, it's a track on the film. And burr, burr, burr. Yeah, it makes sense. You have such a way of putting things sometimes, Dave. Really and does. just sum it up. And burr, burr. <laughs> <laughs> Question four. One of the most important factors in the distinct look of a film is this, which is the distance between the nearest and the furthest object that are in acceptably sharp focus. Locked in. <laughs> I have no idea. Wow. Uh, I'm locked in. I'm locked, locked in. in. I got no clue. This is ridiculous. Locked in. Twy? Free space. Ooh. Kels? Perspective. Devo? Exposure. And Andy? Depth of field. The correct answer is depth of field. Mm. Mm-hmm. All right, at the end of category one, my favorite has, I mean, Twy has five. (laughs) (laughs) Kels and Devo both have 25, and Andy has 40 points. I have never left the science category with 40 points. (laughs) Category two is early history. Question one. Magnet movies. Question one, a U.S. Supreme Court decision of 1902 concluded that this man did not invent the motion picture, but had combined the discoveries of others. Locked in. Locked in. Locked in. Locked in. Devo? Edison. Andy? Thomas A. Edison. Twy? Edison. And Kels? Edison. Good answer is Edison. Question two, Edison's original motion pictures were not projected. Instead, only one person at a time could watch the motion picture by looking through the eyepiece of a cabinet known as what? Oh. Oh, no, I show no, these no, in no. class. What are they called? I know the second part of it. I don't know. Um, I'm locked in, though. I know that. The only thing I know locked is... Locked in? Locked in. There it is. It does. All right, I'm locked in. Andy? I'm not sure if I'm, is it kinescope or kinescope? Twy? Movie scope. Kels? Cinema scope. Deva? Nickelodeon. <gasps> the correct answer is kinetoscope. Kinetoscope. So, Andy, I feel like I, I could count you wrong because you've said kinescope, which is a different thing. That's Is it? A kinescope is a recording of a television program on a motion picture film directly through a lens focused at the screen of a video monitor. I mean, I think I'm going to... You can dock me points if you want. No, I don't think I... I didn't have the T. That's fine. It's close enough. Question three. Thomas Edison built the Black Maria in 1892 in New Jersey. What was the Black Maria? A pirate ship. (laughs) (laughs) A part pearl. to Black Maria. Yeah. The Black Maria. It's a drink you give to a college student for a buck. <laughs> Tastes like ass, but it'll get you drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm locked in. Everyone, there's a Black Maria. So there was a 
there was a Todd Rundgren song called Black Maria, but it's not it's not the same thing. Black Maria. I'm gonna punt. I can't think right now because I'm on a pirate ship. I'm locked in for all it's worth. Okay, shall we start with Twy? A film studio? Kels. It's not a film studio, but I have a theater in parentheses. Okay. And Deva. Now Ray Guy comes in for his first punt of the day. Oh. Kick is away. There's a high twisting hang time spiral. Yar. <laughs> <laughs> what is this talk like a pirate day? <laughs> That's what the Black Maria is. <laughs> Andy. It is the Edison Film Studio, which makes it also the first film studio. Oh. It is, in Ooh. fact, the first motion picture studio where such notables as Fred Ott's Sneeze was filmed. That's one of the clips I showed to the class. It's pretty epic. Question four. The first device that successfully projected film to a screen was the first was first demonstrated in 1895 by brothers Auguste and Louis. What was their last name? Oh. Damn and it, for, I know who we're talking about. Got oh. it. And for a bonus, mm. what was the subject of that film? That is infuriating. Ooh, I don't know that part. I think I'm, I'm locked in. I'll give you an easy mode if you want. Please. Easy mode, please. Sure. <laughs> I'm locked in. Kells is locked in. Everybody else wants the easy mode. Um, Mrs. Potts was a friend of his. Brian Piccolo? <laughs> 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 if I had a chance of getting it, it's gone now. <laughs> Jack, that, was, that was the perfect. That was the perfect response, Brian Piccolo. <laughs> Dang it! I'm screw it. I'm locked in. Locked in. Dang it! Locked in. Mrs. Potts. <clears throat> yep. Gals rolls it back, front, buddy. Again. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> Oh, locked in. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, locked in. Okay, let's start with Devo. Shoot. Uh, Lumiere. <laughs> oh, there it is. Andy? Uh, the Brothers Gibb, uh, <laughs> and they were watching the director's cut of Saturday Night Fever. There you go. Uh, I, If I can jump in real quick, I have a guess for the bonus. Oh, go ahead. Was it in a man running? That's why. Lumiere, and I don't know what they were watching. Kels. Lumiere, I said break dancing. <laughs> um, the correct answer is Lumiere. Yes. And the film was of workers leaving a factory. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh crud. Hmm. I, I now see it in my head. Yep. All right. At the end of category two, Twy has 30, Devo 40, Kells 55, and Andy 70. Man. Andy. And that brings us to category three, which is geography. Oh, crap. Geography. Specifically, famous film locations. Oh, okay. Question one. In Jaws, it was called Amity Island. But what is the name of the Massachusetts island that served as the filming location of Jaws? Oh, God. Oh. Locked in? Eh? Locked in? Locked in. Yar. <laughs> 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 Uh, I'm locked in. All right, Andy, what's your answer? That's Gilligan's Island. No. <laughs> Twy? Martha's Vineyard. Kells? I said Nantucket. Deva? I said Cape Cod. One of you was correct, and so. it is Twy. It was Martha's Vineyard. Huh. Uh, that was the first thing I thought of when I thought that's not right. <laughs> Damn it. And yet it was. And it turns out absolutely was. Gilligan's Island was dead wrong. <laughs> it wasn't even in the ballpark. It was barely funny. 
In other words, it was a failure all around. It really was. <laughs> <laughs> and to have had the right answer in my head and then dismissed and, uh, it. Immediately and dismiss it and go for with, Gilligan's Island. Right? Yeah. Island. <laughs> go for the low-hanging fruit that is Gilligan's Island. <laughs> <clears throat> Question two. The film Forrest Gump opens on a bus stop bench in Chippewa Square, located in what southern city that is also the location of the iconic Bird Girl statue? And there is an easy mode for half Easy mode right now, please. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Locked in? What the heck? I'm locked um, in. About to deploy me an angry baby barrage. But I am confused, but I'll take the easy mode. I'm not Okay, so I've got Andy and Twy locked in. Dave on Kells want the easy mode. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um yeah, the easy mode's not gonna help Dave on probably much. <laughs> the the bird girl statue is the one on the cover of the book Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. John. All right. All right. <laughs> Have you yeah. read that book, David? No. no. I know it was a movie. Mm-hmm. Didn't watch the movie either. Yep. No. Um, I, I want to say it's... Uh, is that a place? That's a place. <laughs> yeah. Gilligan's Island is not a place. No. That is a fictional place. Well, it wasn't <laughs> on a map. <laughs> It was an uncharted island, but it wasn't fiction. I mean, there's there's film of it. How many uncharted islands could there possibly be within three hours of <laughs> Santa Barbara? Apparently at least one. <laughs> Which in itself is an island. All right. Let's start with Twy. Savannah. Kels. Say Savannah. <laughs> Deva. I said Oxford, Mississippi. Ooh. Andy? So I am really confused here because I have no idea where the square is from that movie. But I know for a fact the famous Bird Girl statue is in Lake Forest, Illinois. And it was at the the art museum in Chicago. It's an Illinois thing. Okay. Well, that is a really interesting fact, Andy. Except uh, the correct answer is Savannah. Oh. Really? Are we talking about the statue that has the the girl with her palms out? I think there's like plates or something, or <laughs> that the birds land on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so uh, isn't that a Chicago artist? <clears throat> but didn't you say and Southern it, City? I know, sure and that's did. why I said it from okay. the start. I've been confused. That's why I was confused about. <laughs> okay, so. Bird Girl is a sculpture made in 1936 by Sylvia Shaw Judson in Lake Forest, Illinois. Sculpted at Ragdale, her family's summer home, achieved fame when it was featured on the cover of the nonfiction novel Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil, originally exhibited as Girl with Bowls at the Art Institute of Chicago. That is also the location. I can see, I can see your confusion. And since you do know a, a weirdly large amount of information about that, I'm going to give you, uh, I'm going to give you five points for that one. That's a beautiful piece, and no mention of Birdman. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking it. <laughs> so why is it? <clears throat> Why is it called bird girl? There's no birds in it. Because you put bird seed in those plates and the birds land on it and feed there. You could put fish in it and cats would eat there too. <laughs> it's a multi purpose thing. It's a bowl. I Come bet on. you there's a lot of squirrels that get up there too. Mm. Grab a nut. It's, you know, <laughs> I don't know. (laughs) Anyway, let's move on. Question three. Since filming in Iran was impossible for the film Argo, 
To shoot the crowded market scene, the crew used the Grand Bazaar, the uh, largest covered bazaar in the world, which is located in what city? Mm. Mm. Latin. See, it's weird because it's like Forest, Illinois again. Wow. Weirdly. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there's a stall in the Lake Forest Bazaar dedicated to the Bird Girl statue. To the Bird Girl, <laughs> you, you you put your wares on the little plates. It's amazing. But don't you dare put any f- fish on those plates. <laughs> no. That was no, madness. That, no, that's bananas. <laughs> put some hay there. You might get some camels. Yeah. I'm going with what just popped into my head because that's been working really well tonight. Your head. Your head. Yeah, <laughs> I would. I would argue against that. I would. Yeah, there's no evidence to support that assertion. I'm just hoping. Locked in. I'm locked in. I'm sorry. Is everybody locked in? Yeah, I'm locked in. Mm-hmm. Okay, we'll start with Kels. I guess Istanbul, not Constantinople. <laughs> <laughs> Deva. Deva. Said Marrakesh. Mm. Andy? Cairo. Why? Okay, so it took me sitting here holding it in not to start singing this song. It's Istanbul. Not <laughs> and then Dave did. <laughs> <laughs> The correct answer is Istanbul. I, I would not know. have accepted Constantinople because it is not Constantinople. Constantinople, get the works. <laughs> Nobody's business but, the, but Turks. the Turks. Istanbul. <laughs> it's not even the capital of this of uh, Turkey anymore. Nope. Mm-mm. Question four. Hotel CD Driss is the location of Uncle Owen and Aunt Beru's moisture farm. What African country is the hotel located in? Oh. There's so many. I was doing so well. Uh, oh, I can't. Locked in. Mm, locked in. Yeah. Morocco. I really think they shot it in Morocco. <laughs> that's two Moroccos in a. In a in I know. That's a lot of Morocco. Andy? Chad. Chad. That's why? Djibouti. <laughs> Just had to say it. <laughs> Can't not. <laughs> and Kels. I said Algeria, but I'm feeling like it might be Morocco. When and how you sweep oh, is a vital part of curling. Tunisia. It is Tunisia. Damn it. We were all, we have surrounded it. <laughs> <laughs> not, well, I guess. I don't think any of you named, well, Algeria borders Tunisia. None of the others are really that close. Well, I was close. That was a little well, shame for all of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, he said that you surrounded it, but I mean. Me and we kind of bounced around the answer. It's Shut kind of up, North Dave-o, North Africa. Talking, <laughs> <Dave-o>. <laughs> no. You're right. Sorry. I mean, I, I feel like that's kind of like saying that uh, like Wisconsin is pretty close to Florida. <laughs> oh no! I mean, it depends, depends on your, sh- it depends on your no. scale. Do not but engage. Was, I'm getting a map. And, and, Don't. Yeah. <laughs> Am I wrong? Of that for you, uh, what are the scores? <laughs> Just sad. It's on my post-it too to learn Africa, and I have it. <laughs> Just learn, <laughs> Africa. <laughs> learn Africa. You probably been listening to the Toto song and not looking at that's it. That's it. I start thinking about Africa. I can't do it. <laughs> Just got to learn that one continent. <laughs> Do you know how many points I would have had if I just Oh, knew? I'm with you. I'm yeah, not, you and me, bro. We need a primer. Just <laughs> Africa primer. I'm just I'm just maybe suggesting learn it in bites, you know. <laughs> <laughs> learn Africa is a pretty big thing. I just I'm gonna look at Maybe a learn about Chad first. No, let's no, to all Chad. I want to know is that what country is actually on that damn continent. There's a lot of it in a day. You can do that day. Once. Yeah, that's all I want. And I just got to carve out a day to look at a map like I did when I was in fifth grade. <laughs> and I knew this stuff. 
All right. At the end of category three, Devo has 40 points. No kidding. <laughs> Twy has 60. Kels has 70. And Andy has 75. That was a uh, rather low scoring category. That round was a kick in the teeth, dude. I got five points. <laughs> you got well, five pity points, too, because yeah. you do about a statue. And still and in the it, lead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a that's five more than Davo got though. If that's five more than Davo <laughs> got. All right, let's move on to category four, which is music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to give you three songs that were in a movie soundtrack, and Ooh. you just have to name the movie. Cool. Okay. <laughs> I think these are roughly easy to difficult. Okay. I think the last one might be challenging. Uh, So question one, no easy way out, living in America, burning heart. Locked in. Locked in. Um, Locked in. Locked in. (laughs) It's so hard not to sing the song. (laughs) (laughs) You can do it when it's your turn. Twy? Rocky? Can you be more specific? Um, Detroit City. How many Rocky movies was it? Uh, Rocky 3. Okay. Ooh. Andy? Rocky 4. Ha ha. No oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Devo? Rocky 4. And tells. Rocky 4. It is Rocky 4. Question 2. I'm every woman, queen of the night, and run to you. Locked in. Locked in. I have a total guess. Locked in. Andy. Um, pretty woman. Oh, hey. Devo. We were on the right uh, same wavelength, man. It's pretty woman. That's how you pronounce it. <laughs> Cat. Woman. Woman. <laughs> Kels. I said bodyguard. Twy. The bodyguard. It is the bodyguard. Shit. Rats. Queen Rats. of the night. Come on. It's, yeah. mm. I, I was the singing I'm Every Woman in my head, and it was Whitney going through my head, and it's like yeah. I totally forgot she even was in I it. did not mm-hmm. recognize the songs at all. <laughs> but if you would have said, I will always love you. That's a little bit too on the nose. That's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can't name the song that everybody knows. Let's name track 9, 10, and 11 on the soundtrack. <laughs> Make right? it really challenging. Oh, wait, two people got it. (laughs) (laughs) Question three. Cherry Bomb, Come and Get Your Love, and Escape the Pina Colada song. Locked in. Oh, I know. Oh, locked in. Mm -hmm. When in doubt. I can't come up with where the last one's used. I see the scene. See, I can see the other two, but I can't that one. I cannot believe Devo doesn't have this. Locked I'm embarrassed in? for him. Don't be embarrassed for me. I am. You're going to be mad. I'm probably not. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you will. Go ahead, Devo. Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, I guess you won't be mad. I guess Kels? he won't. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. That's why. Guardians of the Galaxy. And Andy. Guardians of the Galaxy. Correct. Did you know that, Devo, or were you guessing? Um, all, in all honesty, I guessed because they're you know old rock songs, a bunch of them that are re- relatively disparate. Let's put them in Guardians of the Galaxy. It's it true. made me think of it. So it was an educated guess, but a guess nonetheless. That's good <laughs> logicalizing. All right, question four: Big Empty. It can't rain all the time <laughs> and dead souls. I guess somebody got this one. I got yeah. this one immediately. I'm locked in. All right. Hey, well, do I know this movie? Uh, yeah. Yeah. You think I don't I've know if you've seen movie? it, but you know it. Okay. <laughs> I honestly don't know if you've seen it, but you do know it. Okay. Yeah. Mm. I, I know the movie, but I've never seen it. Oh, uh, I'm going to punt. I'm locked in. As something, I've got a total guess just from the the names of the songs. <laughs> I'm locked in. All right, Kels, what's your answer? 
army of darkness. Okay. And why? By using Ray Guy's techniques, every punter can consistently create a spiral. This aerodynamic rotation promotes greater distance and increases hang time. Andy? Blade Runner. David? The Crow. Damn. Correct answer is The Crow. Wow. I went to the theater 10 times to see that movie. <laughs> that was at my moodiest, teenageriest. <laughs> loved it. <laughs> the moody, moody, moody boy. And I loved it. Every I just wish it, it had been darker. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they can see into my soul. Mom, stop. <laughs> <laughs> the soundtrack is amazing. At the end of category four, Davo has 70, Twy 80, Andy 95, and Kells 100. Oh, that in line. good job, bud. That yeah, was nice while it lasted. <laughs> <laughs> You're half a question <laughs> down, dude. Relax. Well, he, had a, he had a decent lead. But. This is what Kells does. He lurks in the tall grass and then jumps on you. <laughs> <laughs> you are you are a lion. You just kill us all. <laughs> I feel like I'm lining up for the easy, you know, field goal, and you know what could possibly happen. And here comes Kells's Chiefs. Boom! I block. Bam! <laughs> Thought we were going to win. Category five is awards, not the Oscars. Oh gosh! Oh, no. oh hell! <laughs> All right. Question one. At what film festival would you be able to win the Palm d'Or? Of course, you'd have to make a movie first. Locked in. Locked, Locked in. in. I think that's going to be my points for the round. I'm going to punt. <laughs> You're punting? I'm punting. All right. What? We're going to start with Andy. Ray maximizes power while creating a natural spiral. With high-speed filming, we can actually show you how Ray Guy achieves this aerodynamic rotation. Devo. The, the Cannes Film Festival. Kels. The Cannes Film Festival. That's why. The Cannes Film Festival. It is the Cannes International Film Festival. That's a good answer. <laughs> what makes it even better is that it's right. Yeah. Thanks for clarifying. Yep. <laughs> also, we've had this question. Yeah. And for the longest time, I kept, I thought the Palm d'Or was the uh, top Boom. soccer player <laughs> in the world. <laughs> 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 I kept getting those two mixed up. Palm d'Or and Palm whatever. But it's not a palm. <laughs> question two. At what film festival would you be able to win the Golden Bear? Oh, Golden Bear? I've heard of this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm locked in. What is oh, I've heard on. of the award, but I can't think of where I know it. I'm, trying, I'm uh, locked in. Okay, we're um, both locked in. I'm going to say locked in, and then I'll have a question for you after we get this answer. Question for who? Kells. Oh. Okay. Locked in. David? My answer was the Toronto International Film Festival, or TIFF. Mm. And I, uh, in parentheses, I said, that one in Utah. The one in Utah, <laughs> I think, is, is, is that Sundance? Yes. That's what I was trying yes. to come up with. <laughs> Thank you, Damn it. <laughs> Neither one of which are right. I didn't expect it. I just... <sighs> uh, uh, the Jack Nicholas Film Festival. Uh, oh. <laughs> Twy. I said Sundance. And Andy. Uh, the Yellowstone Film Festival, where the runner up gets the, uh, the uh, yogi. <laughs> well, sweeping can be fun too. Sweep, 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 sweep. Sweep, 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 sweep. Sweep, 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 sweep,
Um, the correct answer is the Berlin International Film Festival. Well, that the makes Biff. sense. The Biff, not the Tiff. <laughs> Question three: In what country could you win a César Award, which is given Come to the um, it's the National Film Award of this country? It's César. Locked in. Mm-hmm. Locked in. I'm locked in. I'm locked in. All right. Let's start with Kels. Is it Spain? Why? France. Andy? Russia. And Devo. Mexico. One of you is correct. And that Spain. one is Twy. France. <laughs> Doubled up in France. It's uh, given out by the French Ministry of Culture to the um, the it's the highest film honor in France. Oh. And finally, in awards, not the Oscars, in what country would you be able to win the highly prestigious Dada Sahib Falki Award? D a a d a s a h e b p h a l k e. That is cheating at Scrabble's. What that is? That's no kidding. Well, that's a proper noun, so you couldn't use it in Scrabble anyway. Oh, my God. You are insufferable. <laughs> oh, did I say that out loud? <laughs> Hot mic. I didn't, I didn't hear anything. <laughs> Hot mic. Um, I'm like, I would have guess. <laughs> what the app? Okay, I'm going to go with this. I don't know. The Dasahib. The The Dasahib. <laughs> Locked in, man. Locked in. Locked in. Why? The Indian Film Festival. Andy. India. Devo. Israel. And Kels. I also said India. Okay, fine. <laughs> the correct answer <laughs> is not Israel. It's uh, India. Yeah, y'all eat, <laughs> eat it. Just eat something that doesn't good for you and gives you a headache. May you all eat your ice cream too fast. Wow. If there was only a sound clip we'd play at this type of. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just like that one. I'm going to be salty just to get yeah, it. Yeah, it was pretty epic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. At the end of category five, Davo has 80. Oh. Andy, 105. Twy, 110. And Kels, 120. Uh, Allison line is looking oh. rough. Man. <laughs> you could do it, Davo. I believe in first myself. First to third in two categories. That's remarkable. You get the Allison <laughs> line, man. I can't even see you anymore. I haven't made it over the hill. Well, no, I feel like you're going to be really strong in this in this category, Davo, because you're really you're really good with literature, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, man. Literature that doesn't have pictures. Is my old friend. <laughs> so these are this is literature or novels about Hollywood. Oh, mm. I'm not going to do well. I can't name one. I can't name one either. <laughs> uh, question one. <laughs> you right, <he> left. <laughs> you <laughs> evil, evil man. He really is enjoying this. I didn't oh write my these. Don't blame me. I uh, <laughs> were you actively twirling your mustache when you did that? <laughs> I was stroking my beard. Go ahead. Nice. <laughs> Question one. This novel about Marilyn Monroe by Joyce Carol Oates features a disclaimer stating it, quote, should be read solely as a work of fiction. All right. I'm going to put okay, this. This is an author that we have. I don't think we have this one. I'm locked in. I'm locked in. Locked in? I'm just using the force on this one, man. <laughs> Locked in. That's All right, Davo, what's your answer? I said Norma Jean. Okay. Mm. Reasonable answer. Reasonable. Kels? My week with Marilyn. Twy? Blonde. Andy? Some like it hot. Mm. Our answer is blonde. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I had no idea. The only reason <laughs> I know this is because one of my doctors loves Marilyn Monroe and he has this book on his desk. Well, huh. see, I, when I, I'll be honest with you, Twy, 
I, I, I thought somewhat uncharitably of, of your answer and by extension, you, when I, I wrote Norma Jean and it's like, that's a reasonable answer. Then you wrote blonde. It's like, <laughs> just naming characteristics. That's ridiculous. <laughs> What's up with that woman? How's that for a title? <laughs> woman. 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 How's that for a title? <laughs> Question two. What depression era novel about Hollywood written by Nathaniel West follows an awkward, repressed Midwesterner named Homer Simpson? Hmm? Uh, no, not that Homer Simpson. <laughs> and there's an easy mode if you need it. I need it. I will take the easy mode, please. Because the Homer Simpson thing threw me completely off. Yeah, me too. I want to uh-uh. take it as well. I know this. Um, I'm locked in. Okay. Damn it. Why is locked in? Everybody else wants the easy mode. Easy mode is the title includes the name of one of the ten plagues of Egypt. <gasps> hmm. Okay. I'm locked in. Let's go through our plagues. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Boils. No. <laughs> 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 Is that all you got? <laughs> no, I'm one. <laughs> uh, frogs. No. Frogs. frogs. <laughs> what was um, Lice one? Locust seems like it could be good. Plague? Dandruff? Was Dandruff one of the plagues? No, Dandruff was not one of the plagues. Locked in. All right, I'm locked in. Okay. I'm also locked in. If I didn't see. <clears throat> Let's start with uh, Kelts. Locust Pocus. <laughs> I like that. Twy? The Day of the Locust. Andy? Uh, the book title is Frogtown. And <laughs> the uh, the famous last line of Frogtown is, forget it, it's Frogtown. <laughs> <laughs> As Roddy Piper says that into the camera. <laughs> <laughs> and Devo. Uh frogs on Sepulveda. <laughs> <laughs> he wins. Tell it me, dude. The correct answer is the day of the locust. Well, someone's a reader. <laughs> <laughs> but to be fair i did not make it through this book after i read um miss lonely hearts i tried to read this and i didn't make it through it question three this one's worth 20 points Ooh. oh god 20 points what james elroy wrote four novels that are collectively known as the la Quin- quartet as they are hard-boiled crime novels that take place between the 40s and 60s in and around LA and touch they all touch on Hollywood in some way. For five points each, name the four novels. Yeah, I think oh. name one. I think I got one. Yeah, I think we all have one. <laughs> Damn it. Woman. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get it out of my head. I know either. <laughs> 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 I'll give you a free no. hint. Two of these have been made into movies. I'm locked in. I'm on the right track, maybe. But yeah. I don't I know the book, one. so I gotta fill it with movies. Yeah. I'm locked in. I'm locked in with two. My head hurts. <laughs> Got a black magic woman. Shit <laughs> <laughs> is ruining Batman my life. On the stage. I know it. Santana. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Twy. The Black Dahlia, L.A. Yep. Confidential, The Big Nowhere, and White Jazz. The Big Nowhere and White Jazz. Uh-huh. Andy, the John Stockton story. <laughs> well done. <laughs> oh boy. Um, 
LA Confidential, Frogtown. <laughs> <laughs> Frogtown. <laughs> Book 'em Dano. Book, yeah. And um Devo's a good cop. <laughs> <laughs> right. Devo. I just had LA Confidential. Kels. Uh, L.A. Confidential, uh, The Black Dahlia, Heat, and Just the Facts <laughs> Mail. Heat. <laughs> Heat. <laughs> the correct answers are The Black Dahlia, The Big Nowhere, L.A. Confidential, and The John Stockton Story. <laughs> <laughs> White <a> Jazz. <laughs> So I've got five for Devo and Andy, 10 for Kells, and 20 for Twy. Twy, you're such a friggin' reader. Mm. <laughs> I've read like all those, of these books, yes. Like those hard-boiled detective novels. <laughs> question four, and our final question. Carrie Fisher wrote what semi-autobiographical novel about a drug-addicted Hollywood actress falling falling into rehab and having to deal with her over the top movie star mother. I can, did. I, I can see the cover of the book in my head. Locked in? Yeah. Uh, locked in? Uh, Hope she only wrote one book and that this I, is the I know. Yeah. That's, that's, I'm not trying to go through her, her catalog of books. Trying to <laughs> the there is just the one book. Yeah, it's not a catalog. It's the book. Uh, uh, she she wrote eight books. Oh, oh, all right. Okay, well then, <laughs> I'm really hoping this is edit all that I went out. From man. I was sure I was locked into when I got <laughs> one out of eight chance. All right, still locked in, but thought I was guaranteed to be right. God bless. Are you, are we all locked in? I am now. I'm sorry, <laughs> my okay. I'm, I'm in. Devo, nerf herder. <laughs> what? Sorry. Really? <laughs> you call this scruffy looking. <laughs> Kels. Wishful drinking. Twy. Postcards from the edge. Oh, I knew that. That was about, I knew. Okay. I've heard of that. Okay. Hey. Postcards from the edge. So the correct answer is postcards from the edge. Kel's Wishful Drinking is a memoir. It's a nonfiction. Oh. But probably her right. other most famous book. Okay. All right. At the end of our regular rounds, Devo, 85 points. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> Andy, so 120. Kel's, 130. And Twy, 160. <sighs> Lights, camera, death. Ooh, I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this one is the sudden death. The theme is one word film titles. Oh. Okay. However, Ooh. they're not movie questions. What? The questions are general knowledge questions, but the answers will also be a one word film title. Ooh, that's devious. I like that. I like this a lot. Well played, <laughs> Albert. Arthur. I'm Arthur. Arthur. <laughs> Who did the you say? A. Albert Arthur. What's the, the other A? <laughs> All right. Question one. What is the state beverage of New York, North Dakota, and Arkansas, among many other states? Locked in. Locked in. Locked in. 2008's own. <laughs> David, are you okay? Hold that on, that's me. That's me. me. I'm it's the state beverage. Going out on them. I, I, I'm locked in. I just didn't know it was ours. I'm fudge. <laughs> Kels. I'm, like really, I'm really nervous. <laughs> Did you call me new? Yes, Kels. Milk. Deva. Milk. Andy. I wrote down milk. Why? Milk. It is milk. Still this one's shy. <clears throat> this one's for you, Devo. What city is the principal port of Morocco? 
Locked. Locked in. Locked in. <clears throat> Locked in. Deva? Casablanca. Andy? Casablanca. Tomorrow? Casablanca. And Kels? Best picture winner, Casablanca. That is correct. Question three. On what day did Harry Houdini die back in 1926? Locked in. Locked in? These are one I'm word. I'm one word? I'm comfortable about mm-hmm. this. Oh, 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 oh. Locked, locked in. in. I'm going to be out and I don't care. <laughs> <I'm> hopeless. <laughs> That's the attitude, Dave. <laughs> so are you locked in? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Andy? Halloween. Twy? Halloween. Kels? Halloween. And Dave? I said Halloween. It is Halloween. Like I couldn't mm-hmm. think of a weird Thanksgiving movie. <laughs> <laughs> Question four. What is the last name of the man whose birthday, October 2nd, was named the International Day of Nonviolence by the United Nations? Locked in. Locked in. Locked in? Locked in? Twy? Gandhi? Kels? I also said Best Picture winner, Gandhi. Deva? Gandhi. And Andy. Gandhi. Is Gandhi. <clears throat> Question five. What is the first name of the legendary baseball hall of famer who once said, never let the fear of striking out get in your way? Locked in. Mm. Locked in. Ah, locked in. <sighs> Whew, it took me a minute. I can't think of a movie called Reggie. <laughs> 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 Uh, My first thought was there was a movie named Pete. <laughs> ah, all right. All right. <laughs> he found this is a movie. I'm like, dude. <laughs> Kels. Babe. Deva. That'll do, pig. Babe. <laughs> Andy. <laughs> babe. And Twy. Babe. Correct answer is Babe. Twy, we need you to start getting some wrong now, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Go out here. We'd appreciate it. Well, I almost yeah, got Gandhi late. wrong because I was like, that's not Martin Luther King. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> that was the first thing to come to mind. I was like, I don't know a king. <laughs> Just by itself. Question six. Panthera, Asinonyx, and Felis are all genus groups of what animal? Locked in. Locked in. Locked in. I think I'm wrong. but. Uh, <sighs> Locked in. Deva? Cats. Andy? Bear. Twy? Cats. And Kells? Cats. Yep. Nobody said these were good movies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I forgot That's it was a movie. It. My brain went to the musical. <laughs> I forgot Just about the movie into- as well. <laughs> This is the way Andy said bear. <laughs> oh, I knew I was wrong. <laughs> bear. <laughs> uh, question seven. What word is defined as an object kept as a reminder or souvenir of a person or event? Locked in. Locked in. Twy. Momento. Kels. Memento. Deva. Memento. Is Memento. The fresh maker. (laughs) (laughs) Question eight. What is the name of the team that won five World Series titles in 1919, 1940, 1957, 1976, and 1990? Locked in. Did you say 1990? Whoa. That hit a whole new level. Yeah. Of consternation. Oh, I know what this is. <laughs> it's a baseball question. Oh. Curses! America's pastime! Oh, I don't do sports ball. <laughs> it's the um, St. Louis Shawshank Redemptions. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the debut Batman. <laughs> 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 You're gonna kill me. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, 
Dubuque. Dubuque was the best city name you could it come really up with, too. Was. It really is. It's just that joke is perfect on every level. <laughs> just love that. Ooh. I want that to be a team now. Love it. Really, wouldn't it be great? <laughs> and, and would there be a reason why they couldn't all have capes? None. Would that be <laughs> the Savannah Bananas can play in front of thousands of people. The debut Batman can play the Savannah Bananas and have. Oh well, yeah, they time. can. Do they have to wear cowls? Oh, it would have to be a cowl. Your batting cowl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, batting cowl. <laughs> No, I, I think they should just wear batting helmets that have little holes for their little bat ears. <laughs> yeah, just put it on top of the cowl. <laughs> you know, the utility belt's going to come in real handy for what was pitching for the bat. <laughs> <laughs> he is going to be so pleased with his utility belt. I've got tar in this one, and I've got uh, that ball is gonna be in that really one. Really great stuff. <laughs> Devo. Reds. Twy. I say Chicago. Kells. Reds. Correct answer is the Reds. But you, but you know what, Twy? Bless your heart for thinking there'd be that many. You know, about to say. Bless your You need your to miss a question heart. like two questions ago. <laughs> Even if you combine both Chicago baseball teams, they still... <laughs> He damn sure didn't win in the nineties. No, he damn sure they didn't win in the nineties. <laughs> I, I, I have evidence. I was there <laughs> every damn day. So I did make that. I did omit some of the of what he wrote for this one, but I thought it was too easy with what he included there. So I'm wondering if it would have helped. Why, if I'd said. And included players like Johnny Bench, Pete Rose, and legendary manager Sparky Anderson. Mm. Would that yeah, because I know Pete Rose paid for Cincinnati. Okay. I can't make it too easy on her. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, for question eight, evidence would seem to suggest. And then um, he's even second guessing himself now. Is there a way I can retroactively put this? No, 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 no. In I, the question, I was just curious if that would have helped her. Right. Question nine. What is a female figure in Norse mythology who guides souls of the dead to Valhalla, known as? Oh, really? Nixon? Yeah. <laughs> uh, locked in. All right, Kells, what's your answer? Valkyrie? Deva? Valkyrie. Mm. The answer is Valkyrie. And question 10, do you think we're going to have two people sweep this final thunder? Wow. That'd be cool. Mm. I don't know if that's mm. happened before, has it? I don't think so. We? Official Brain Ladle time. Historian? Has that <laughs> happened before? Yes, Kels and I did it. Oh, of course. Wow. On yeah, the, that, makes um, <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> Was it the Told punctuation two people episode do it. when we had to do the numbers? Of the keyboard. Yeah. 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 Oh, that tracks. Yeah. Question 10. What is the last name of the person that had his first public performance on March 26th, 1778 at the age of seven, although his father claimed it was, he was only six. I know this one. Uh, locked in. Huh? You know this, Dave. I'm sure I do. Hold on. Well, I'm going to write it because it's what popped into my head first, but it's not his last name. Yeah, it's not his last name. I'm confused. Locked in. Deva? Amadeus. That's not his last name. I know. I think I <laughs> That's said what that. I thought of too, Deva. <laughs> Kels. Beethoven. Mm-hmm. Oh, the from the stupid dog movie. <laughs> 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 Gosh darn it. <laughs> the correct answer is Beethoven. It was the dog. All right. So that means our final scores are Andy with 170. Devo, 175. Hold the wait a minute. 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 Really? I need a minute. First to last. Because you want to clarify no, I something? just need a minute to <laughs> savor that. Wow. <laughs> That's f***ing <laughs> spectacular. Uh, <sighs> okay. You okay? David? Oh, I'm great now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and at the other end of the spectrum... <laughs> 
<laughs> we have a tie for first place. What? Why and Kels. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Now we're going to solve this problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, I presume Neil's going to recount the score and find that <laughs> actually Twy got one more point than. <laughs> <laughs> Now that I've looked a second time, I had forgotten about the <laughs> bonus bonus. For being there was a nice. hanging Chad on question four. There was a Chad. <laughs> I have an idea. Mm. 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 We'll, we'll see who knows this first, and then we'll have a closest to the pin if uh, you both get it or both miss it. Okay. What name, what pseudonym is used by film directors? Who wish to disown a project? Uh, oh, uh, I don't know it. Uh, I do. I don't know. Donnie Brasco, final answer. Donnie Brasco. Nothing? Nobody? Mm-hmm. I got it. I got nothing. Well, I need the other two to, to give up. The, before. The, oh, you want the ones that actually count? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I surrendered, <laughs> sir. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, Debo, do you know? Yeah, Alan Smithy. It is Alan Smithy. Oh. Up until 1968, it was not uh, allowed for a director to to do that. Partly because the Directors Guild was concerned about producers uh, forcing directors to use fake names. Basically, you have to get the Directors Guild to approve it. Uh, but in 1968, there was a movie called Death of a Gunfighter. That was had Richard Widmark as the lead. He was unhappy with the original director and arranged to have him replaced by another director. So the first director had spent 25 days filming. The other one had only spent about 10 days, but they each had about 50 percent of the footage. And both directors went to the Directors Guild and said, this is not my movie uh, because it doesn't have my vision. And so the Directors Guild agreed to allow neither of them to put their name to the movie. And they came up with the name Alan Smithy. Oh, cool. That, that is fascinating to me. Yeah. And so there have been a number of movies that have had that. Most of them I don't think are that well known. Although there are some well-known ones that have had the name applied based on other cuts. Like I'll give you an example. So The Scent of a Woman was directed by Martin Brest, but he didn't want his name on the version that was edited for in-flight viewing. Uh, Another one is Rudy. The director didn't want it on the one that was uh, edited for TV release. So that sort of thing. So anyway, I have a list of all of the times that, uh, including some of those exceptions for the the alternate edits, of the times that uh, credit Smithy in... Uh, feature films so whichever one of you gets closest to that number will get one point oddly all these films had one thing in common they featured whip hubble whip (laughs) hubble i'm gonna say 13 in the 14th one whip hubble is man with dog (laughs) (laughs) why do you have a number uh 28. The correct answer is uh, I didn't, I, I counted twice and got different numbers each time, but it's around 50. <laughs> so I don't need the 50? I don't, yeah. Is it 50? 50. Oh, well. Yeah. So I don't need to be very close. But uh, anyway, the upshot is with a score of 231, Twy wins over Kells with 230. Congratulations, Twy. Congrats, Twy. Good game, guys. Good game. Yeah. Thank you, Arthur, for an excellent quiz, even though it hurt me for most of it. But it's still a great quiz. My performance is not indicative of the quality of your quiz. So if is anybody Andy? else. Yeah. Well, so if anyone wow. else out there listening would like <laughs> to send in a quiz to us to use. Send it to Neil at brainladle.com and we will get that on the air. 
And don't forget, we need those likes. We need those reviews to help move us up the charts so that more people can listen to us just like you. So from all of us here at the Brain Ladle Trivia Podcast, this is your MC Devo with Kells. Girl, you'll be a woman. <laughs> Andy, I, I need a new podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so long, little brainers. Why? Bye. And the sensei, Neil. Well, Saturday night at eight o'clock. I know where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna pick my baby up and take her to the picture show. The drifters. Oh, nice. The drifters. Shining, shining off, Sharn. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Signing <laughs> off. <laughs> Dave will have been drinking. <laughs> A long day. Boy, that Devo sure is salty. Hi, I'm Brain Ladle's Andy McBride. Do you remember those crisp autumn days crunching through the leaves on your way home from school? Do you remember filling your hat with delicious wild strawberries that tasted as sunshine? Do you remember every time Devo took the Lord's name in vain or said, fuck? I do. I keep track. He will pay. Leaps aren't cheap, and Devo continues to open his dumpster mouth. Help us, won't you? For the cost of a cup of coffee, we can make sure that children will never be subjected to the boy potty mouth again. Patreon supporters can be a guest on the show. You can take part in our conversation on our Discord channel, and you can get a chance to listen to special Patreon-only episodes. Please think of the children. Let them lead the way and give them a sense of of pride. Brain ladle out. Can you pull off having Batman say Catwoman to Nixon's Harub? <laughs> say Harub. Oh, whoa. whoa. Yeah, can you do that? Okay, so Catwoman. Harub. Wow, <laughs> that is hard. Well done, Transition. sir. Thank well you. Well done. Thank you. Alvin! Oh. <laughs> no, it's Alva. <laughs> well, watch that Andy, Andy realizes he has to go back and put that first reference yeah, back. Yeah, no, I have to put the damn medicine back in there again. <laughs> it was like the second question. Okay, now this eliminates sudden death. That'll be quicker. Nobody listens to this but me. <laughs> The preceding podcast was presented by Brain Ladle Productions. All rights reserved. Sure, come get this baby.